This is a review of the targets included with C-Log. When new targets are added, this video will be amended and you are welcome to add custom targets at any time. It is assumed that you are familiar with the C-Log control panel from the C-Log overview video. Let's start by adding the common Unity console target. This had been reviewed in the overview video, but we'll touch on it once again. Here's the name of the logger, the platform and log levels associated with the logger, and some public variables of the logger that allow you to control the layout of the message. Let's try it now by using the test logger. Here you can see the log message. Let's also try it from a scene. I'll open it now. Here's the C-Log test game object along with the script. I'll open that briefly and it you can see that it logs on the various levels. Let's run this scene now and you can see here the various levels being displayed. Okay, let's clear this and go ahead and try a different target. Let's add the game console. The game console is a console in your game that allows you to debug at runtime. To use the game console, we'll need to add the prefab located in the commons log UI prefabs directory. However, we'll load a scene that already contains the prefab. Here's the prefab, along with the C-Log test object with the C-Log example script that logs on various levels. This is the same script you've seen on other loggers, however due to the different target the log messages will be sent to the game console. If we look inside the game console prefab, we can find where the text box is added. It's placed here in the in-log content object. You can see it's not present now because it's added via a script. This is to allow it to dynamically choose the TextMesh Pro asset should it be available. TextMesh Pro has a much better looking UI and is available from free at the asset store. It will also be included with Unity 2017. Let's go ahead and play the scene. and we'll maximize the look in further. You can see the log levels being logged. Here you can close and maximize the screen. You can minimize it to an icon. Here's the settings that are currently available, including the filter level, the font size, and you can have it auto scroll to see the bottom of the log messages. Let's return to the editor. You may have noticed that only some log levels were being logged. This is due to the filter level was just set to error, worn, and fatal. The test logger is also able to test messages while at runtime. Let's use a level that's being currently logged like fatal. If we hit play you can see that that was added. Let's remove this logger now. There's also the null logger, which I won't demonstrate because of its obvious use to drop logging messages. And then finally, I'll touch on the in log logger, which is actually a separate product produced by AI Unity in log, and it's an advanced logger to give you very fine control of your logs, where C log is primarily a wrapper to allow flexibility. So let's bring up the in log control panel should you have this product. And I will dock it next to C-Log. Very similar GUI. Um, and let's run this logger here and you can see the message being displayed. Very similar syntax was programmed here but it has a lot more flexibility. But now we will take C-Log and play with the messages being routed to in-log where you can then configure your message. Let's play it now. Here you can see the C-Log message being displayed, so it was sent to N-Log, which then has control through its configuration. Let's try using multiple targets. Let's start with the Unity console, and we will also add the game console. Now we want log messages in the editor to use the Unity console, and all other build platforms use the game console. So we will go into the Unity console target here and change the platform to just the editor located here. Now 
any messages in the editor will hit this target and any other messages that are built on different platforms will fall through to the game console target. Let's try it now by hitting the test logger. Here you can see the log message. Let's also try hitting play and again I have the uh, C log test game object which will log on all the levels. I hit play now. And you can see all the messages being displayed. Thank you and happy logging. To learn more, please visit AI Unity website. You can also explore the featured products below. Be sure to subscribe to stay current on all AI Unity products. Thank you, and stay tuned to this product's playlist to complete your training.